small scene this you've learned quite a bit about cooking mm -hmm. during your time here on Twin Cities Live. here's an example that for John, you. I hate to say this, but when you told me that you were an expert shallop searer, she yes. doubted you. I doubted you. I yeah. did because I thought that your skills mostly lied within the grilled cheese arena. Well, <laughs> yeah. well, I am really good at the grilled cheese, and uh -huh. I got to credit my BFF over here because I called her at the grocery store one day and said, "How do you make grilled cheese?" Because okay. I want to buy, I want to buy stuff for grilled cheese. That is a true story, and I said. <laughs> Really? And then I told him how to make grilled cheese. What did you start with? What? Did you say bread? Bread and cheese. And then he, once he discovered pre-sliced cheese, he was a pro. <laughs> and I make amazing you grilled do, cheese. Yes, you did master the grilled cheese. So since you've done that, it's time to work on its classic companion, tomato soup. And that lady you saw there happens to make, in my humble opinion, the best tomato soup in town. She's the owner of Cafe 421, and Tigany Sandra McLeod is here to teach us how to do it. Hi, Hi Tig. Guys, nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Hello. I always say this. Your tomato soup is so good. You've actually sent me this recipe before. Yes. Because I have gone to Cafe 421. I get it. I love it, John. And you... Love tomato soup. I really do. So mm -hmm. let's get to making it. Let's get cracking. What are we doing? Right. So we've started really simply. We've got onions and shallots and some butter and olive oil okay. in the pan. And last but not least, we're adding some garlic. See the combination, onions and shallots, butter I'll, and I'll olive oil. Yes, please. I've stir away. a lot in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, see, you're so good at this. It's, I could just I, let you do the whole thing. I'm flat out amazing. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to just put it that way. The great thing about this recipe is that it's a really well-developed tomato soup, but it's made with a lot of ingredients that are all ready to go Good. so you don't have to work too hard. Yes, we have diced tomatoes. Do those go in? Go ahead and dump them in. Good. I assumed at some point they did. They were, yep. She okay. stands back. Uh, yeah, because this splashes a little. So yeah. you guys are wise with the apron. Do two-thirds of that tomato juice. Two-thirds oh, of And I'll wow. stir it and turn the heat up a so little bit. So you do bit. have like several different kinds of tomatoes going on yeah. here. Yeah, and there's no broth to could... speak of though. So there's no stock or water or anything like that. It's tomato upon tomato upon tomato. Wow, what's and the other one? And then this is um, pureed tomatoes. So oh, you can either buy the whole thing. You can get a jar of diced Whoa. tomatoes. This is why I wear aprons. <laughs> and it I did not. Turf, Elizabeth. But I wore gray. I don't know how, how much you've been around the kitchen, but uh, you got to expect a little casualty <laughs> here and there. I've been in the You can dump that in. That's a little white wine. Don't mm -hmm. put the cream in quite yet. Okay. That's going to go in towards the end. What about the basil? And the dried basil. So this has two levels of basil as well. Go ahead and just generously pour some in there. Beautiful. Good. So dried basil is going to give you a more concentrated basil punch. Yeah. And then at the end, go ahead. Yeah. And at the end, we're going to add fresh basil when it's all finished. So that'll give it a fresher flavor as well. So how long does this sit here and simmer together? This is going to simmer for about 10 minutes mm -hmm. or so. And then you're going to take it off the heat. And we have the handy dandy immersion blender. Oh my gosh, this thing is the best I tool will turn this ever. Off. And since you guys have aprons on, I'll just yeah. Oh. this over. Oh boy, and this you is can... making me really... Have you ever used one of these before? Put it in and then start. Yeah, hit the start in. button. There. And start. Oh. There you go. You have to lift it up and down a little yep. bit. Oh! Oh, that's... <laughs> I lifted it up a, a little, lot. A little too much. Okay. And so you blend it to your desired <laughs> consistency. Some people like it chunky, some people like it super smooth. Sure. So, like, that would be the consistency that we would serve it in the restaurant I at. That. Yeah. It has well, some well chunks it, of tomato, and you can throw that on the cutting board. Because I don't really board. like it when it's, like, so super, like, Campbell's soup smooth. To me, that's a little bit too it's pureed. It's almost like just tomato juice yeah. then, but this has a different consistency. Mm -hmm. And so now we're going to now pour... Yes, go ahead and pour the cream. I noticed the cream. color that you have over here in the old finished product yep. is uh, a little lighter and than this And that's perfect. Color. That's good. You oh, just finish deal. it with cream yeah, let's get and this. bring it to a slow boil, because if if you bring it too quickly to a boil, the cream is going to start to separate. Okay. And this is not one of those soups that you want to freeze. Like, you can make up to the cream part and freeze it, but the cream doesn't thaw out nicely. Okay. Oh, so good tip. that's it. Yeah. And now you've got a big bowl of delicious tomato soup oh, to I go do. along Gosh. with your killer grilled cheese. Okay, tell oh, us about goodness. these grilled cheeses. So because, and you have some croutons We've on got here some too. garlic croutons, and you can get that oh, recipe yeah. on the website along with the soup. And this is just a classic grilled cheese with bacon. It has, however, pepper jack and mozzarella and Swiss and cheddar. Okay. So great for dipping. You could slice it into fingers so you can dip it right in. You go with that. John, are you in cheeses. tomato uh -huh. basil this soup This is bliss? super. Oh. <laughs> you see what I did there? You see what I did there with the super? I really like it. <laughs> is this not the best tomato soup you've ever had, though? Yeah. Uh, it is. I'm telling uh, you. It, so, it well, is. 
And again, I have only had the uh, the Campbell's variety, or maybe best yet variety. Mm -hmm. I have to um, interrupt you why? for a second because I have a gift for John oh, on nice. this our last segment together. Oh, this is great. That whole thing of soup. The whole thing of soup. I this hope you can take it to Kansas City. I'm a little nervous that you might not cook after you leave all of us. Hey, so no. I have a gift for you so that you remember all of your dear friend chefs back at TCL. I think she called you, know, you a dummy. <laughs> yeah. I just did. Five years on television making food almost every day with some of the greatest chefs you could find. And how do I know how to cook? Cooking for dummies. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, like everybody nice at home, technique. just cooking for dummies. Well, Let's you just might go forget to... some things, right? All right. Good basics. Yeah. This is so good, I'm telling you. If you love tomato soup, you are going to be obsessed with this recipe. And we have the recipe on TwinCitiesLive.com. Just go there and click on food. John? Maybe I'll come back as a cooking guest someday. Maybe yeah. someday. Oh, wasn't that Let's from hope, page 40 right? in Cooking for Dummies? Yeah, maybe that'll be it. Okay. Thank you, Antigone. You, know, you are very